All right, what we have here is a 1997 Easy Go golf cart with a Robin 350cc engine. And we got it was back firing through the intake. And as you can see, it's kind of, um, it was so bad that it actually crusted the cover for the air cleaner. So what I did is I did a compression test on it and it had somewhere around 35, 40 PSI in each cylinder. I went ahead and first thing I want to do is check my timing and it was off one tooth. I put it on there. Still, the compression went up a little, not much. Pulled out the valve cover, noticed that three out of the four rockers can't quite remember because this is about uh, a month ago or so. And three to four rockers were, were, were just beyond tight. And the last rocker was real loose. Well, once I did that, the compression, I, got my, I got around 140, 145 compression, which uh, isn't too bad, but it was okay. But it still had a little pop and backfire to it. So I gave it back to him. They wanted to drive it and try to get it to the end of the season, and it got worse. So at the campground, as you'll see right here, this rocker right here, you can take the screw right out of it, and the valve still Smashes on the top, right on the back of the rocker, right here. I take this off. See, as you can see, it's still hitting on the rocker. And that's with no adjustment at all. Well, hang on. Well, we are not all the way over. Let's turn that little bit over first. There we go. All the way down. You're going to want your lobe on the bottom. Try this from it. And then you look at this. See? You can see it, there's no nothing. The, the, the valve's sitting way too high. It's almost as old as it's cooked. It worked its way up. So if we look at this one, from here, throw that down. This is how it should be right here. You still should have a little bit of play, about four thousandths. All right. All right, we'll pull the cam off. Slides off here. Gotta wiggle it out a little bit. Like that. There you go. Here. It's out of here. Okay. Is that part? We get this cover off here. This off. Stack of gaskets there. What the heck? Look at this. Oh, okay, oh, it's only one. All right. Put that over here. When I bought this a while back, it wasn't long enough. I took a piece of a chisel, cut it, put that in there. I'm going to use that once I get this bolt on. The only thing is, in order to get to this bolt, you have to raise the cart. Get the 16 mil socket extension. Stick 
that in the hole. Okay. Push it right in. Right there. And then. And we take a 22 mil socket. Around the end. A little tool. It's on here. That. Impact on there. Buzzer off. There it is. Clutch out. Get the belt. You technically take your belt off first, but sometimes it falls right off. Make sure you're in neutral. That will come off. This one will usually fall right off for you. Except for this time, right? Oh, it's going to be a pain. Okay. Little screwdriver. Now, go around this one. Pull it off. There you go. There's your clutch. Use your little tool. Okay, I got bell out of here. Okay, we'll snip this out of the way. Went off the side, it's your throttle cable. Went over to your governor. And we're gonna pop off this. Just like that. Just swing that up and out of the way. And there's your timing belt. And then, of course, the right direction. This is there, next to your adjuster right here. Loosen that up, and this will spin up out of the way and help pull that off. Go. Turn your belts off. And here, and crack this loose. There we go. Just one more thing you gotta learn and learn the torque specs for. That's all. Okay. Everything so far has been seen to be 10 and 12 mil. So. All right, so next we gotta pull the exhaust manifold off. Hopefully, let's snap the bolts. Well, I got the exhaust manifold off and only managed to uh, break two bolts. They're in here. Up. Just hold the screwdriver, turn the nut, a little jolt, there you go. Now this whole thing should, these bolts should come right off. I'm going to try to keep these in the same order too. Well, we're not going to try, we're going to do, alright. Now if you notice with these off, to see that every one of them, regardless where the low bar, you got room. Up this, except for this one, pushing on it. That's a bad animal there, man. All right, we're gonna pull this off. See this little groove? We can put a screwdriver on it, or just hopefully shove it out like this. Like a little players, a little rag on here. A pair of players. Help it out. There it goes. Ow. All right. Pull this out gingerly. Doesn't help all the way out. Right. Be careful, don't lose the spring. Let's spring right out of there. 
And there we go. A little worn. Not bad. All right, what I did is I got little individual bags. I marked them. So that way, put my parts right in here. There's been times where you put them on a cardboard box or something like that, and you kick the box. And that's not a good thing. You gotta keep this in the right order. Number two. Oh, there we go. The cam should come. Oh, there it goes. Right out, I guess. Careful not to bang the lobes. I do not think this is gonna make it out, but it might. Should. Yeah, there she is. Isn't she a cute little thing? Look at that thing. Cute. Just some white old. Some got some sign of wear, but all in all ain't too bad. Okay, using a 12 millimeter. I'm gonna loosen this bolt first. Just a little bit. That's that. Come on, this one. It's missing a little. That's it. Come back here. Extension on there. Okay, here, moment of truth. How bad is this motor? Are you ready? You can see the hole. They're all supposed to see it just like this one. And this one's your exhaust. Here's your intake. That thing's just swallowed right in there. The seat is a little damaged here. Possibly, hopefully it's repairable. But you can just see that both of them are just, just, that's literally three sixteenths of an inch sucked in. That was a good sixteenth of an inch, at least. Now we gotta do, put a rag on that. All right, um, as far as the broken bolts go, we're gonna do a Take a couple of nuts, put them on top. Weld them in place. Okay, let it cool off a little bit. Let's see if everyone went well. You should come off, I hope. Guaranteed on the brake. Okay, um, using a valve puller. Use one like this. You could, they're actually somewhat, <laughs> shouldn't be that hard to get off, but you might have to knock them a little bit. Do a rubber nail it if you need it. We'll try it without it first. And what you want to do 
is we're gonna hold on to the bottom of the valve, push down on the spring. These little keepers right here, there's two of them, will fall out. Make sure you keep these in the right order. So this went like this. Okay, start off and go in a row. We'll call this one one. Should be able to put it on here like this. So I'm gonna put this on the valve. This side goes on the top. Spin her down. Line it up so that way it exposes the inside. Put that on the valve. I'm gonna take this arm right here and we're gonna stick it in here. Move this out a little bit. Let's just spin this in. You notice as you spin this in, it's gonna push on the valve. Oops. If you go far enough, the little keeper should fall right out. Like that, there you go. One, two. These little guys right here. Put those instantly in the bag. Now you can back it off. And the spring should come right out. There you go. And there you go. Now I did buy new springs. This one seems extra weak. If you're dealing with an older Easy Go golf cart, these will have these won't have keepers in there. What it'll have is a hole, a larger hole on one side, and in the center they have like a little dimple. You push down, move it to the side, and pull them off. You see a lot of small motors like that. Okay, now we'll go to the second one. Kind of hard to get a rubber mail in there. I'm gonna have a little brass hammer. There it is. Oops, don't lose those. The other intake, you can tell by the size of the valve as well. Not only that, you can see, there's your intake, it goes right in, it goes off that way, and off that way. It's like you can actually tell how it's cast here. Now we get to see what kind of damage we got here. These spark plugs were brand new, a month ago. Okay, so this is number one. As you can see, it's it's rough, but not too rough. The seat's still there. It's not too bad. All right, sorry, the camera shut off. You only get 10 minutes. Um, yeah, every 10 minutes I have to walk over and make sure the camera's recording. But this is the one we really want to see. Not so much the valve. Obviously, it's nothing left to it. It's the seat itself. I mean, how damaged is it? It's got some crusties on here all the way around. Not too good. Doesn't look too great. We'll find out after we clean it. Put that in bag one. And that's our puppy, that's bag two. That's pretty bad. Not a whole lot left to it. And if you look at this, it's supposed to have like a tapered edge. This, there's no taper left on that thing. None. So we'll put that in two. That's number three. It doesn't look much better. But it looks pretty rough around the edges. But the seat looks like it. The seat looks way better. Look how nice that seat looks. So that's a nice seat. That one looks a trouble, child. And well, here's another thing. When they got the golf cart, they were told they were filling the oil up all the way. Well, the golf cart has a lift on it. And they were literally putting probably a half a quart too much oil in there. Because with the lift, you're actually lowering the rear of the engine like this. The dipstick's up front. So now when you go check your oil, you look like you're really low. The, the, the motor itself, this is a 350cc Robin engine. Um, it takes a quart and a half of oil. With a quart and a half of oil, let me show you this. 
I had marked it for him. I'm not sure if you can see this, but let me get a little point here. This is kind of critical because there used to be oil dumped in the intake. It, it, that thing was, it was bad. But if you look, all right. So here's your low, here's your add, here's your full. But with the left, quart and a half of oil, there's full. So the difference between here and here is a good half a quart of oil. So this thing used to dump oil in the air cleaner. Bad, like bad enough where there was puddles in the bottom of the air cleaner. And, and I fixed that problem, it hasn't really, it doesn't even really use oil anymore. They were told that it uses a lot of oil, so just keep an eye on the oil. Well, they were actually using the oil that was actually getting dumped in the intake, which was literally right next to the carburetor. It would pick up through the carburetor, come in through the carburetor, and dump it right in here. And that's part of the reason why this looks it's the way it does. All crusty. Okay, well, that's number four we're at. All right, I cleaned it up a little bit. I'm just, just really curious here. And the seats do not appear to be that bad, which usually they're not because they're hardened steel, whereas the valve's really soft. And looking at all four of them, I think we might be okay. All right, now we're gonna, what we're gonna do is we're gonna, now we're gonna pop the seals off. There we go. Now we're gonna take one of our valves, a little bit of lapping compound on there. Now, uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Not too much. Stuff, I'll leave a, um, a link in the description where I got this. It's from Amazon. It's kind of a heavy grip, but then as you use it, it'll um, turn into a fine grip. Okay. All right, and what you do, like this, it's dipping on a little bit of water, a wet rag. You don't have to push down on it at all. And it's kind of gliding on there. You should hear the sound change. Yep. Oops, picked up some more grit. Too much. Remember, you gotta wash all this off when you're done. This stuff will screw your motor up. Okay, here we go. Compound got on there. You'll hear this get soft, gritty, Ooh, like that, and lighten up. Yeah, oops, gets real quiet. I'm gonna do that with all four of them. Okay. This is hardened. It ain't gonna really hurt that much. Look at it, you'll see a line all the way around. Shouldn't see any smooth spots. And do the next one. Move your way on. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put new seals on uh, using a 12 mil socket. Just place them over the top. 
tap them on. Four. Okay. That's how I had it lined up with the valves. Okay, use a little bit of a assembly lube. Just gonna put a little bit on the end of the valve stem. Make sure you give it in the right order. Slide them in there and wiggle them around. There you go. Okay. Do that to all four of them. There's that. Okay, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put brand new springs on. Let's take our little keepers. And one side's narrower than the other. Narrow side down. Oops, don't do that. Make sure you got this side facing down on the spring. Place it on top there. See if you could push them down. That's that. You can use this again if you want. It's a little too difficult. Just make sure they're in there good. And there, you, there you go. There's one done. Okay, do the rest. Turn the old ones to the new ones. There's your new. Remember from the photo before, this valve right here was sunk right in. You got a little bit of that uh, gummy there. Make sure they move all right. And there's your valves.